Good afternoon. Welcome to my Facebook group, Grow Your Own Science and Maths Like a Superhero. This is a social media learning group that um, I've started with um, a couple of friends from around the world. Uh, so welcome all. So today we're going to be going through ATP and what it is, what it's made of, and basically everything to do with it. So what is ATP? So ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate. And we've mentioned before about what um, bases and nitrogenous bases are in DNA. So if you remember in my last talk, we mentioned we were talking about guanine, cytosine, uracil, thymine, and adenine. So these are all the nitrogenous bases that occur in DNA. Adenosine, or, so adenosine is derived from adenine. We've got our pentose ribose sugar here, which has got five carbons. And then we've got our triphosphate group. And that in a nutshell is what ATP is. Not to be confused, of course, with the uh, ATP circuit in tennis. So if we move on slightly, let's have a look at what it is and what it does. What is ATP? It's the universal en currency of energy in every single cell there is. So it's a nucleotide, as I just said, formed by a nitrogenous base, pentose, sugar and phosphate groups. And how does it create energy? Well, the, the bonding between phosphate groups act as high energy bonds. So you can see up here, so these, these different groups here, every bond that was broken there releases a huge amount of energy which is how cells create and use uh, energy in cell processes. How, how does this happen? Well, back to what I was touching on in my last video, which was enzymes. The particular enzyme here is called ATPase, and, uh, which hydrolyzes ATP to make ADP and, and a phosphate molecule. So let's go a little bit into what, what it actually does. So. This is quite a good illustration. It shows the high energy phosphate bonds and the adenine and ribose groups to make an adenosine. And this is what happens and the amount of energy that gets released in each hydrolysis reaction of ATP. So in a particular cell, there'll be a lot of different components in cytoplasm. So you've got ATP and add, add water to it. And this is what happens. So you get a cleavage of your phosphate group as a ATP is broken down and huge amounts of energy released. And this is the core of cell processes and how ATP is formed. So ATP is broken down into ADP, gives you 30.5 kilojoules per mole compared to the cleavage of the AMP into adenosine. So ATP synthesis is pretty much a key cell requirement in producing energy. So we're going to talk about a little bit more about ATP synthesis in glycolysis in the Krebs cycle uh, later this week. Um, I'll be doing some longer videos on the different pathways involved in those. So what actually happens in this reaction? So this particular one is a cell membrane. And what happens in the proton gradient when ATP synthase uh, cleaves and forms ATP? The protons are basically allowed to flow down their concentration gradient. And you remember we talked about key processes before being diffusion, active transport, osmosis. The particular one here is facilitated diffusion through a protein that spans the phospholipid bilayer. And part of this protein acts as an enzyme that synthesizes ATP and is called ATP synthase. So this was a uh, this occurs in mitochondria. So mitochondria are the energy factories of each cell. So in cell terms, we think of the ribosomes as the protein factories, the mitochondria as the energy factories, and the nucleus as the coding center of the cell. So this was discovered by Peter Mitchell in 1961 called hemiosmosis. So if we take another look at ATP, the so ATP synthase, which is the enzyme, it's got three binding sites. And you can see those here. And this allows the exposing to these binding sites allows them to pass through three phases. So you've got ADP and it's uh, inorganic, PI means inorganic phosphate. 
that fits into the ATPAs, and then ATP gets released. Okay, so that was a, uh, a quick introduction to ATP, the energy of each cell. Thank you very much, and uh, I'll be, uh, there'll be some more videos coming later tonight. We'll be covering cell membranes, phospholipids, receptors, and uh, some more about the immune system and antibodies. Thanks very much.